Hi, my name is Freddy and I'm one of the Filipinos who lived in Kuwait for almost 12 years. It's just a reaction to Ms. May's Hamdan. Lately we have just heard and we watch how she mocked the Filipino people, how she was thinking she was really good in everything. Um, one of my Jordanian friends, her name um, I can't publish or I can't say her name exactly, but she's a Jordanian. She works with me in, um, in the hospital and she said that she don't like Mays Hamdan. For a simple Filipino like me, I would let her say we've got to respect everybody in every aspect, in every sense that we're looking forward attending and creating a a friendly environment and making it a point that we have to realize that whatever reality you are in, more especially talking about the English language, we certainly can't deny the fact we are in everything that we do because the English language that we're using is not ours, it's not our own capability and capacity to really be talking about how good we are. Definitely when we stand before everyone, one's own eyes, the English is an international level into which in every certain places there is certain accent and whatever accent you're using, you should be proud of it. It is tantamount of making yourself devalued when you, t you, you will be thinking that you're one of the best or you're one of the best individual who lives in this world. So Ms. Hamnan, do you think you really are really great in English? Have you heard yourself exactly how you, your accent is mocking your own creations? When you mocked the Indians, nobody talked about it. But when the Filipinos heard about everything that you said, even it's big, it's, it's a small joke, it is a big thing for us. And it's a collaborating instance where you don't need to to be detrimental or even think that we can't do anything with especially Filipinos I'm just an ordinary person but as you can see my accent is not the good accent that you're talking about and leveling up to whatever you really wanted to say or whatever you wanted to really share in this world we don't care but because we know our own expectation that Filipinos they talked we talked in the beauty contest and as you can see all the beauty contests that you are going to watch only the Filipinos could fluently speak English and they don't need any interpretation when it comes to answering any questions I would rather say just shut your mouth be careful whatever things that you have done even you say sorry, still so many Filipinos, they can't believe that sorry is coming from your heart. Maybe it's coming from your ass. So please, do your best as an actress, because one day you will see yourself when that botox that was fixed into your mouth, on your face, and even somewhere else, when it will not be functioning anymore, you will end up seeing yourself the ugliest person that you ever see in the history of the television network, wherever you are right now. And for sure, we know you can't sleep thinking about the Filipinos, how they mock you back because of what you did. And we're so grateful and so thankful for all the Filipinos who have adjusted and still adjusting and who are still hating this Maze Hamdan. I don't like to say anything against you or to condemn or whatever, whatever. I wanted to tell exactly, I just want to tell, just be careful, things that you utter and things that you tell would eventually be coming back to you for sure and it happened already and I'm sure your family and everybody even your friends 
they are now destined to get back or let's say back off Mr. Hamdan. Let us hope in the future you will see how Filipinos work and without the Filipinos working with you most probably you're nothing. You are just out there perfectly doing your responsibility. Without the Filipinos you are nothing stupid.